Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Aquarius. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for, you know, the next seven days or whenever it resonates with you. So what do we have for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? This one just fell out. Bird flying. News is on the way. So you got some news coming. See about getting another one for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Oh, okay. Beto, good fortune. So good news is on the way. It's good news, okay? Good news, because it says news is on the way, and then we got good fortune. So whatever it is, it's obviously good news. So what else do we have for Aquarius? You might hear my cats purring beside me. They're on a little blanket because they seem to need to be right here with me. So. Anyhow, what do we have for Aquarius? What do we have for Aquarius? Mm. Bad advice from a friend or family member. Listen to yourself, don't listen to them. They are not giving you good advice. Ooh, clean slate. New story. You are going to be starting something from scratch. Okay, this is this is writing a new story, creating a new masterpiece. You're creating from a from a clean slate. So, looks to me like you're about to create something new. Ooh, they have serious regrets for hurting you. Somebody has serious, serious, serious regrets for hurting you. May have to do with a soulmate, okay? Um, soulmate reunion is what that says. So, you know, we have multiple soulmates in a lifetime. We don't have just one, okay? A soulmate doesn't have to be a lover. It can be a family member. It can be a friend. It can be... You know, parent, it can be somebody that broke your heart or it can be somebody that you've never met, okay? It can be somebody that you are about to meet, all right? So we do have a soulmate reunion that is coming up, all right? It could be somebody completely brand new. It may, may, may not be though. So anyway, what do we have for Aquarius? Good news is on the way. Luck is on your side. So whatever this is, also do not pay attention. There's somebody that is giving you some bad advice. It's a friend or a family member. You are about to start over on something. Oh, Hierophant. Hierophant. It says wise one. Could be dealing with a Taurus. Doesn't have to be. But this is listen to your gut. This is, this is the highest intuition. It really is. This is the highest authority. This is a higher power. This is somebody that has a direct, direct connection to God. Listen to your gut. Listen to your gut. All right? Nobody else's. And you need to have faith. You need to believe in yourself. Believe in yourself. Believe in yourself. This may have something to do with a commitment. may have something to do with a marriage. Could also be dealing with a Taurus. Maybe this Taurus received bad advice from a friend or family member or whoever this other person is, and now they have serious regrets for hurting you. Somebody has serious regrets for hurting you, and they're going to be communicating with you. Six, conflict. Will to power, hostility, jealousy, stubbornness, aggressive. Aggression, fear, competitiveness, controversy. So you may be dealing with all of that in the next seven days. Some sort of conflict. So you are going to be dealing with some conflict in the next seven days. I feel like there is somebody, I feel like there is somebody that you are dealing with that received bad advice. And I feel like you may have as well, but I feel like it's them for this situation. I feel like they received bad advice from a friend or family member. Now they regret it. Now they regret listening. They regret listening to that idiot. Um, and they're going to be, they may want to start over with you. They may want to start over. So this person could be a Taurus. Doesn't have to be. 
What do we got for Aquarius? This person wants commitment. Maybe they didn't know what they wanted. Maybe they were dealing with somebody that was holding them back, causing them conflict. Ooh, interesting. Four of Wands is about commitment, okay? So I do believe that we have somebody here that is not happy at all with an outcome. Not happy at all. This is not feeling like they fit in. This isn't turned out the way that they, 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 they thought it was going to turn out. Um, lack of contentment, lack of happiness, nothing to celebrate, trouble in paradise, trouble on the home front, wanting to move on, wishing things could go back to the way that they were. Somebody is wishing things could go back to the way that they were. Um, there could be a sad farewell here. There could be some family discord you're, that you're dealing with, or you may feel like you don't fit in. There could be a separation, an upcoming separation. These fell out, so we got to take them. Four of coins, upright. Knight of wands, upright. Death, major transition. It's a time of transition. It's a time of transformation. Something is going to happen fast. Knight of wands to the death, so that's that's change okay there's going to be a change endings lead to new beginnings somebody had, was holding on to something that felt secure uh, a foundation that felt secure but it really really wasn't secure they are wishing that they didn't hold on to it they're going to be making you some sort of offer this is gonna this is somebody that has some past they're going to be making a passionate approach they're going to definitely be taking action. They're going to be, somebody is going to be, somebody sees your stability as well. They see that you are solid. They see that you are real. Um, there may have been some sort of sudden death or there's going to be, or, you know, the eight, the knight of wands is sudden right next to death. Okay. So there's, that's like a sudden ending. Um, somebody may suddenly be letting go of something that they were holding on to. Uh, four, it's interesting. So now I got the four of cups reversed. I got the four of wands reversed, the four of coins reversed, and right underneath the four of coins reversed, I got the four of cups reversed. So four, four, four. Four, 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 right off the bat. Fours are about foundations, and this is definitely about a foundation. This is, a, and they're about, well, that's universal protection, angel protection, um, all is well, all is well. There's universal protection here. There's universal guidance as well. Um, there's angels around. This Four of Cups reverse is better in reverse than it is upright. This is the end of stagnation. Okay, there's been some sort of stagnation. We have somebody here that was very stubborn. They were holding on to something, maybe for financial reasons or because it made them feel secure. Um, it was a, some sort of foundation that they were in. It could have been a previous commitment or a previous marriage or something like that. Uh, I feel like you, you may have been dealing with this person. There was some sort of, maybe there was an anti-climax. It was really, really good. It was going great. And then all of a sudden it just fell apart. And I think that it fell apart because you, this person may have received some bad advice or they were having a hard time letting go of something else. Um, maybe they were obsessed for some some reason. Um, I feel like there was a temporary situation that was going on. Maybe this person was even in a temporary commitment or a temporary living situation or whatever it is. It's, I feel like it's over because of the death card. This is the end of stagnation. Things are about to pro progress and they're about to progress very, very fast, just so you know. We got somebody here that is now interested, whether it's you or them. This is now interested they may have ignored it or they missed the opportunity or they weren't interested because of a previous commitment or because of, I don't know, maybe they were just stubborn. Um, five of wands. There was some sort of competition here or conflict. We have somebody here that was maybe even just feeling conflicted within themselves. World card reverse. Maybe they were in a cycle that wasn't over yet. It's right next to the world uh, death card. The world reverse next to the death card. Now the cycle is over. There was a lack of completion. There was a there wasn't, it wasn't over yet. There was some sort of unfinished business with somebody in their past, which was causing them conflict. Now, now things are about to change because I feel like that's over. I feel like it's completely over. I feel like we have an individual that is about to take action. 
Um, they're ready to move forward. They're ready for a new life. Um, Ten of coins reversed. Could be a change in a living situation. Maybe somebody was in a foundation. You know, they had a home with somebody and or assets that they needed to deal with before they could commit or, you know. Anyway, Ten of Coins reversed is, um, I don't know, it could be a change in residence, it could be a unstable home or business life, losing it all, total ruin, financial issues, marrying for money, um, committing for money, you know, but this is a loss of abundance, staying in a situation just for the money, just for the roof, just for the home. You know, I think that, that, that now, and I think that's what's caused so much conflict. You know, there's been, maybe there's been, you know, holding on to the relationship just for the assets or the home or the money or, you know, all that has been acquired. But I feel like, and I think that's what's caused the most drama in the whole situation. Anyhow, let's get the rest of the cards. Six of coins reversed right next to the ten of coins reversed. And then the moon reversed. And then the fool. So this is your clean slate, which I saw with the with the blank slate, you know, the, the empty card. I feel like I feel like you're going to be writing a new story. You're going to be stepping into unknown territory. You're going to be taking a risk. You're, and you're being called to take a risk. Doing something on a whim, spontaneous. Um let go of your fear and just do it. This is starting over from scratch. So some of you may be moving. You may be literally moving, moving into a new home or you're starting a new relationship or you're starting a new project. Uh, the moon card reversed. Uh, truth's being revealed. Something, there's been, there's been some sort of lies. There's been some, maybe even self-deception. Um, we have a reality check here. There's a, somebody here that is losing. Maybe they've lost something of financial value. They could be losing a home. They could be losing a business. They could be losing a job. There's been an abuse of generosity. There's been an abuse of power. There's been strings attached. Somebody has been, you know, abused for their money. You know, there's been some sort of uh, taking advantage, you know, taking advantage of for their money. Um, but I feel like it's over. I feel like we have somebody here that has made a decision to depart the situation, you know, and hold on. I'm going to hold on to what I got and I'm separating. I think it's a sad farewell. I think they're separating from the one that is using them. You know, somebody has been using somebody. Um, but I feel like there's going to be some sort of conflict um, that causes this ending because the Ten of Coins is an ending. It is. Uh, truth being revealed. There's been some sort of fear. Somebody's been held back by fear. They've been very, very paranoid about losing their money, losing their assets, losing their financial stability. But I feel like now it's like they've they've secured something. They feel secure enough to react. Something has happened where now they can react. And they're coming back around. Somebody's coming back around that I feel like this person couldn't. They couldn't. You know, they couldn't because there was some previous obligation that was needed to be dealt with before they could react. Whatever that means. Um, I feel like there's some unfinished business here. Um, I feel like you're going to be starting over with somebody that... I don't know if this person ignored you or you ignored them or there was something that happened that was causing conflict, obviously, right? For some of you, there's, there's financial loss here or there's fear of it, fear of financial loss, fear of, and it could be for you or the person that you're dealing with. There's great fear of financial, losing the assets, losing the home, losing the money, you know, so that's the biggest fear here. Um, I also feel like uh, there's a release of fear. So this is somebody that's decided, you know what, I'm not going to let fear hold me back. I'm going to do this. I am. I'm going to. I'm going to do it. I'm, I am doing something very risky. So this is risky. So I think that we have somebody here that's about to take a risk and they're going to, I feel like there's an approach I feel like somebody is going to, you could have a sudden arrival here or a message that is coming that is very exciting from, I think it's just definitely from, you know, I said that it could be somebody that you don't know, but I feel like you do know this person <laughs> now that we've had these cards. I feel like you definitely do know this person. Could be a, a Taurus, 
Could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Could be a Scorpio. Um, could also be a Pisces. Um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I feel like there is somebody here that has been thinking. They've been thinking a lot. They've been thinking about... Um, well, they've been thinking and they've been in their head. They've been, they've been thinking about the opportunity that they passed up. They've been thinking about how they felt. They've been thinking about commitment. They've been thinking about um, their new life. They've been thinking about the past. This person has been thinking a lot. They've been thinking about their future stability. Um, and this person likes to have it safe. They like to have it secure, you know, so they've been kind of uh, struggling, struggling with making their decision. But I feel like it's like, this is just like all of a sudden because of the Fool and the Knight of Wands, this is somebody that is very um, courageous, doing something courageous, daring, you know, doing something brave, making a brave move. So I feel like, and I feel like we have somebody here that has become free of some sort of restriction that was holding them back and now they're ready and, and and it's like it's like I'm not I'm I'm done. It's like I'm done being restricted. I'm I'm ready for my new life. So they decide to say goodbye to that previous thing that they were holding on to. So I think that's that 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 is for you. Um somebody is letting go. They are letting go and they're moving forward. They're they're done. They're done, they're done. Um I feel like you are about, there's freedom here. It feels like you're about to, you know, it's almost like turn over a new leaf, right? It's it's write a new story, start a new journey. Yeah, with that blank slate and that fool card, you're at the beginning. You are at the beginning of a new lesson, a new journey, okay? You're at the very beginning of a new chapter of your life. You're writing a new story. This is the beginning of a new story. News is on the way. Good news is on the way. It's unexpected. There's somebody that is coming back around that... You may, it's a missed opportunity that is coming back around. Five of coins reversed. This is a turning point. This is the end of a conflict. It really is. It's the end of difficult, Colty. It's, it's coming out of darkness, right? If you somebody may have ghosted you, they abandoned you. This is definitely a turning point. It is. Endings lead to new beginnings. I thought we had three fives. We do. We have three fours and three fives. So there's a progression here. You are about to see progress, and then and then the fives are expect the unexpected. And remember, I said personal freedom. Fives and fives are about conflict and change. Your life is definitely about to change. There's been some sort of conflict. There's also probably been some fighting, some hostilities. You're dealing with somebody that was holding on to something that was safe, whether it's you or them. There was bad advice involved. Now there's going to be a profound change because of that death card. This is a time of transition, a time of, of separation and loss that leads to a new beginning. And that's exactly what we got here. A new life is beginning with that. It is. This is the end of stagnation. Things are about to progress forward very, very fast for you. Let go of your fear. Do not let fear hold you back. Just go. Take a risk. Have faith. Believe. Believe. Believe this. Believe. Believe that you are being guided to go in this direction. For some of you, it's really doing something that scares you. It really scares you. You're going to have to replace that fear with faith, with the Fool in the Hierophant card. You're going to have to trust. You're going to have to have faith that this is where you are being led to go. News is coming 
from somebody that hurt you. Four, four, four. I don't know if you can see it. Good luck.